Welcome to this DeepLizer course on diffusion models. My name is Mandy and I will be your instructor for this course. In this course, we'll be learning all about latent diffusion models. These are the models that are responsible for the huge rise in AI art generation that have taken the world by complete storm, allowing individuals everywhere to create compelling images and unique works of art. Now, not only will we be learning how exactly these models work, we're going to be learning lots of cool stuff in this course, but we'll also be getting hands on experience creating our own AI generated images using these models. We'll be working with the popular open source model, Stable Diffusion, as well as very popular tools like the Automatic 1111 Web UI, the Hugging Face Diffusers Library, and the Koya SS GUI. And with these tools, not only will we be working with the models in order to just generate images, we'll also be learning how to train these models as well on new subjects, even subjects like ourselves, if we'd like. We can zoom in just to see actually how cool this is. These are all AI generated images that I was able to get by training these models on my face. So none of these are actual photos that I've taken or drawings or paintings that I've had done. These are all AI generated images of my face. And in the course, you are going to learn how to do the exact same thing. Now let's dive into more details about the course specifically. So our objective in this course is to gain a fundamental understanding for how diffusion models work, how to generate images of anything that we'd like, and how to train these models on new subjects. Now, these models are actually made up of multiple components, and we're going to be exploring them all. We'll also be learning all about the data pre-processing steps, how these models are trained, as well as how to easily work with these models, both with tools like Automatic 1111 in the Koya GUI, as well as in code using the Hugging Face Diffusers Library. Now, in terms of how we're going to be approaching all of these topics, we'll first be gaining an understanding for these models and how image generation actually works. Then we will move on to actually be able to apply this understanding that we've gained to be able to work with these models to generate compelling images. So now let's discuss the prerequisites required for this course. First, we need to make sure before taking this course that we have a good understanding of deep learning and neural networks. So if you are brand new to the field of deep learning, then we recommend you first check out our deep learning fundamentals course. We'll be building on top of all of those fundamentals in this course to understand how we can use neural networks as diffusion models to generate images. Now, later in the course, we're going to be jumping into code, which will be implemented using the Hugging Face Diffusers API, as well as PyTorch. And we'll be going step by step through the code once we get there. But in regards to coding prerequisites specifically, some basic coding skills and familiarity with Python are required. Now, I mentioned that we will be working with Hugging Face Diffusers as well as PyTorch. And if you are not familiar with using a neural network library like PyTorch, then it is recommended, though not strictly required, that you have some experience with a library like PyTorch before taking this course. And we do have a full PyTorch course available for you to check out if you are not yet familiar with this library. Now, throughout the course, we will be encountering some text pre-processing as well as making use of what are called word embeddings. And we'll additionally draw a couple of comparisons to other generative models like GANs, for example. Now, it's all right if you're not totally familiar with these topics, as it's not strictly required that you fully understand them before taking this course. If you would like to gain a better understanding of these topics before taking this course, however, then you can check out our intro to GANs course, as well as our natural language processing intro course. In the NLP course, you will be exposed to text pre-processing and word embeddings, which we'll be making use of here in this diffusion models course. And in the GANs course, you will be introduced to generative models in general, and of course, generative adversarial networks. Now, finally, if the concept of AI art is totally new to you and you haven't yet heard of models like Stable Diffusion, then we recommend you getting familiar with these topics with our AI art for beginners crash course. That course will give you a good introduction to understanding what AI art is, how it's generated, and how you can actually create your own AI art with these diffusion models as well. 
Now we can see that a couple of these prereqs listed here are just recommended and this last one being optional, but these first three are required. So just make sure that you have these first three at least under your belt before taking this course. Now, in terms of the resources that are going to be available in this course, we're going to have video lessons for each topic. We have fully written lecture notes for each lesson. We have custom quizzes following each lesson, as well as custom intuitive graphics like the ones that you've been seeing here on your screen so far. You will also get access to download the code and other resources that we'll be making use of in this course, as well as a Discord server access where you can join and communicate with me and other students in the course as well. So now we'll just go through some of the mini topics that are going to be discussed during this course. Be sure to check out the course page to see the full syllabus to have a more comprehensive overview. But for now, we'll just go over these highlighted items. So we'll first be learning about what diffusion models are and where they fall in the general field of deep learning. Then we'll understand how latent diffusion models have revolutionized the field of generative AI art. And then we'll move on to understanding stable diffusion and all of its various components, as well as gaining an, an intuitive understanding for how deep neural networks can be used to generate any image that we'd like. We'll learn how exactly a latent diffusion model is trained by denoising images. We'll also be gaining an understanding for how to use text as guidance for image generation, as well as how autoencoders and text encoders are used during training and inference. We'll be learning about the main unit component of stable diffusion as a generative model, as well as how to improve generated images using what is called classifier free guidance. And in addition for learning all about how these models are trained, we're going to gain an understanding for the inference process, as well as all of the inference parameters that are involved whenever generating an image. In addition to learning about text to image generation, we're also going to learn about image to image generation and how that works. We'll also gain an understanding of the concepts of inpainting and outpainting and masking as it pertains to generating images. Something super cool that we'll be learning about is how to train these diffusion models using what is called textual inversion and LoRa techniques. We'll be gaining experience with very popular apps to both train diffusion models and generate images. And in addition to working with these apps, we are also going to learn how to work with these models in code using the Hugging Face Diffusers library. And there is much more that we will be covering. Again, I encourage you to check out the syllabus for this course on the course page so that you can have a more comprehensive overview. But these are some of the high level highlights. So I hope that you are as excited as I am to jump into these topics. And I look forward to seeing you in the course.